So my son Dwight was born um, at 23 weeks gestation, extremely premature. As a result of Dwight being born so prematurely, he has ongoing um, complex medical needs which requires 24 hours a day care. It was very difficult, it was a very difficult time just kind of navigating and trying to figure out what to do and how to best care for my child. When I found out about my son that he has autism, uh, I don't know no clue about what is autism and, and no way to go to find out about it. In 2005, I gave birth to my daughter, Kennedy, and we were told that she had a very rare chromosomal anomaly. Um, and I had lots of questions and no one to offer any answers. And so the quest began taking classes, taking workshops, just going anywhere, asking questions, ad nauseum, bothering people, pestering people. How do I keep her healthy? How do I keep her safe? How do I keep her alive? It was very difficult first, you know, to know all the departments, how to schedule the appointments, who's the contact person, how am I gonna do that? So it was overwhelming. 10 years ago, our provider team observed how challenging it can be for families of children with complex medical needs, just meeting the day-to-day -day demands of parenting, as well as navigating our complex medical system, educational system, and finding community resources to support their family. We thought, wouldn't it be fabulous if we had parents here as part of our care team? Today, parent navigators are key members of our healthcare team here at Children's National. They work hand in hand with me as a clinician and with our entire healthcare team to support families of children with complex medical needs. Our navigators are parents of children with special health care needs and they provide peer-to-peer -peer support and they assist with identifying community resources and they help all of our six primary care sites throughout the metropolitan area. Most of us, right, could benefit from some extra support from a family who had been there, then we make a referral directly to the parent navigator office. And then they're able to come in and often meet with the family even during the visit. Um, and then they'll follow up with the family afterwards. You are not alone. Uh, and there are somebody there. It's a group called Parent Navigator Here at Children's that will really help you uh, to find some answers. It's easier knowing that you have someone else going through it and someone else has been through it and could possibly give you some tips and you know, help you along the way, because it is a hard journey. I know what I needed when I needed a navigator, and so I'm able to connect with families because I, I understand that need. I just didn't have. Just letting them know that their voice matters, whether they speak it in English or Spanish. And I think ultimately, the biggest goal is to then they can transfer that knowledge to somebody else. I've been there, I am there, I'm still there. I still, you know, my son still has lots of equipment and it still takes me forever to get out the house or to go anywhere. Um, and so I, I, I get what they're going through. And to connect with somebody on that type of level is um, very rewarding.